Arthur. Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to was sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear. Deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Let's go rob some fools. This way, on me. Yeah. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think these were the folks buying moonshine off of one of those hillbilly families. Of course. Of course what? They tell you this place is changing. But you got reformed slavers, closed door dealing with lost cause revisionists, and well, who knows what else. You know, a good old boy is a good old boy in the good old state of Lemoyne. It's Peckerwood country, all right. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are, right? decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, I uh, guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold still shining and their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> Okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna want to strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Well, we got some wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Now where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this feel. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. 
Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Say something if you're gonna stop, okay? Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there, the wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Hey, should we ease off him? I think I see something. Into the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Did good, girl. Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Make sure you bring your sharpshooter. I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. They might be on the way. 
Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. Let's search these wagons, okay? This ain't worth taking. Hey, this could be promise. What do you got? Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Don't spare the nag! Come on! God damn it! Hey, take it easy! Come on. Let's see how fast they run. Right. Coming our way. Keep it together. Here. Hey! Stop! What's a black feller doing coming out of Shady Vale? In one of our wagons! We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. You look just the opposite. The goddamn parents. Oh, 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 they might be on to us. Yeah. Hey, you got some anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth brag. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like them, you know? Well, so do I. It's my better judgment. Just worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But... Enough, but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We know this. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yep. Camps in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Let's go, girl. Yeah. 
You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You. Thank you. Oh, my God. What a woman. She's. This'll get her killed for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on! Come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town. there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There. There they are. Ladies. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed! I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please! Do what? Fight this mob? Leave me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a... Protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we now, fetch now. the water. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Banker Road, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? Just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Now look out for those stragglers, please. Stay on Main Street. It's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you. Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Oh, do give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant. 
A little further, please. Stop just past the bank. Ladies! Get down! Come on! 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 This is a great day for all of us. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Founding fathers, not founding mothers, you silly old goat. His philosophy dependent hey. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was. Bo, little... where will we just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? Speak harsh about my Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, or what? You'll hit me? Oh. Come on. Sir, Shh. can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. But a land of the future. A land of equality. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She were right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful! Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. 